Breaking up numbers into parts. Last lesson, we learned that a whole can be broken up into smaller pieces called parts. Today, we will learn that numbers can also be broken up into parts or smaller numbers. We call this decomposing numbers. We will use number bonds to help us. How many fruits are there? There are one, two, three, four, five fruits all together. This is our whole. Some of the fruits are oranges, some are grapes. So let's break up the whole into two parts. Oranges together, grapes together. How many oranges are there? There are one, two, three oranges. How many grapes? One, two. So the whole five can be broken up into smaller numbers three and two. Three and two are parts. Let's look at another example. How many ice creams are there? There are one, two, three, four. Four ice creams all together. This is our whole. Some are strawberry, some are chocolate. So let's break them up into two parts. Strawberry and chocolate. How many strawberry ice creams are there? One, two. How many chocolates? One, two. So the number four can be broken up into two parts. Two and two. Let's turn the number bonds another way. How many balls are there all together? There are one, two, three, four, five, six balls all together. Six is our hole. That's right. Some are basketballs, some are soccer balls. So let's split them up into two parts. How many basketballs are there? One, two, three, Four. Four basketballs. How many soccer balls? One, two. So the number six can be broken up into four and two. Can we break up the hole in another way? Let's put the balls back first. We still have six balls all together. Some are big balls, some are small balls. So let's break them up according to size. Big balls together, small balls together. How many balls are big? One, two, three. How many balls are small? One, two, three. So the same whole six can be broken up into three and three. What have we learned today? We have learned how to decompose numbers, breaking up bigger numbers into parts or smaller numbers. We used number bonds to help us. Number bonds help us to see how the whole breaks up into parts. We also learned that the same number can be broken up in different ways.